So you know somebody who's a bit of a traveller and you're not too sure what to get them for Christmas? Well, in this video, I'm going to make a whole bunch of suggestions that's going to help you. Hello YouTube. Just in case you're new around here, my name's Joe, this world world, and I aim to inspire, inform and amuse through travel. And in this video, I've got a great list of Christmas gift ideas for those who travel a lot. And just in case you haven't seen part one of this video, you should go back and check that out a little bit later. And whilst you're here, you might as well hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. So the way I'm going to structure this video, I'm going to have five themes, so I'm going to recommend at least two gift ideas for every theme. What's more, quite a few of these gift suggestions I've probably tried out myself, and also there's going to be a bunch of timestamps in the description to help you move between the different themes, just to save you scrolling back and forth. Um, what you might need to do is to copy and paste the actual link into a new browser so you can go straight to that thing. Clicking on the link sometimes doesn't work for whatever reason on YouTube. And also, since you can copy the link, you can actually send it to a particular person and give them a very, very subtle hint what you want for Christmas. So the product links are affiliate links. So what that means is that every time you click and buy something through the link, my channel gets a small commission. And so because it's Christmas, any commissions generated this Christmas, I'm gonna give it to my chosen charity. I feel that I'm really, really grateful that I have this situation that I have a warm home, hot food, and for Christmas, I'm gonna be going home to see my friends and family. Not everybody is in that situation. I'm supporting the St. Mongo's charity. Every night they send out outreach teams to help out people who are sleeping rough and to move away from the streets. They work to prevent homelessness and support people at every step of the way to their recovery. And if you want to know more about St. Mongo's, there's a link in the description. Uh, my personal aim is to try and raise a hundred pounds at the very least. Um, I'm not too sure exactly how far this video is gonna go and how many people will be clicking on the links and whatnot, but I'm just happy, happy to able to help in my small, small way to a really good cause. So if you are able to help by buying some of the gifts to help St. Mongo's, great. And even better, if you can contribute directly, I'm sure St. Mongo's and the people that are gonna be helping this Christmas will be really, really appreciative. Now I have a very special competition. So Aeropress have kindly donated a few of their great products to two lucky viewers. And Aeropress is a great travel coffee press that makes great trip and espresso coffees. To win one, all you need to do is comment with your Twitter or IG handle. And to increase your chance of winning, go to Twitter and retweet the link to this video, or go to my other video, add your Twitter handle or IG handle. And just in case you want to know more about Aeropress, there's loads of reviews around the internet. But on my first video where I suggest some other Christmas gifts, you should also take a quick peek. I describe why I absolutely love the Aeropress. Okay, let's don the Christmas hat and jump straight into the gift ideas. I'm a bit of a messy packer. I'm not one of those people that can organize my stuff too easily. So I love packing cubes. So that way I can separate all my different electronics, my underwear, my clothes, and it's just a whole lot easier. This is especially useful if you're doing some long-term travel, where chances are you're carrying pretty much everything with you. I actually found some really cheap packing cubes for I think under 10, 10 pounds, link in the description. I also found some super duper high tech ones which I haven't tried but they do sound pretty good. The ones I bought, um, they've been going quite well for the past 3-4 years but a few of them are kind of like fraying. If you're planning to do a lot of travelling or you're doing a long term travel, definitely buy the slightly more expensive ones because chances are it will last a bit longer than my ones. And just a couple of tips about the packing cubes. I generally pack all my electronics and little wires into a packing cube in my carry-on, just so that I can take it apart separately. Because I find that security can be a bit funny with my bulky electronics and camera stuff. There's more of a chance of me not getting stopped by security. And I'm all about getting through security as fast as you can. Namely because half time, I'm usually really, really late going to the airport. Camera accessories. So I had to think really long and hard about what would be a good Christmas present. So I'm a big fan of my Gorillapod. It's basically a lightweight tripod. It's small, it's compact, it's really light. There's different sizes of Gorilla tripods depending on how heavy your camera and, well, how stiff it is. It must for any photographer or videographer. What it is, it basically has these legs that you can bend, twist. And the way I normally use my Gorillapod, I usually put this either on a tree or on a pole and I can do amazing shots, time lapses and whatnot. Plus also it's a great little tripod for doing your vlogging. 
I'm currently vlogging with my camera, honest. Just imagine it, that's what I'm doing, yeah. My second suggestion, which I now use all the time, this little thing, yes, it's a battery charger that's about third the size of my regular battery charger. And what's more, it doesn't have a crazy big cable, so I can use any of my other USB cables. So another great bonus about these USB battery chargers is that you can actually use them with a power bank, which is fantastic. So if you're kind of like me and very forgetful and clumsy and just forget to charge your batteries, then you can actually take these things and charge things as you're traveling. Win. So USB battery chargers can be found for most cameras. Just click on the link in the description and just either add the camera model or the battery type. That way it'll give you a list on Amazon of all the compatible USB battery chargers. Well, I don't know about you, but I've got this special power. When I'm on a moving vehicle, I tend to fall asleep, which is both a hazard and a blessing. The only problem is that sometimes it's really uncomfortable to doze off. You wake up with a bit of a nasty crank in your neck, which is never, never fun. And what I recommend is two products to support your neck when you're dozing. So the first neck support I recommend is the Turtle. It's an interesting design because it's basically a scarf with an arch that supports your neck. And they're really, really easy to put on. And you're sorted. So as an alternative to the Turtle, I recommend the Evolution Pillow. It uses a whole bunch of top science. And that top science comes in the form of memory foam, which is proven to give you better neck support than your regular squidgy ear ones. And now for some virtual gift ideas. So up until now, I've been suggesting buying physical things, but what if you need to buy your friend a gift and they're not around? How about some virtual gifts? The first one is absolutely amazing. Jack's Flight Club. It basically searches the whole internet to find some of the best, cheapest flights. So it's not only flights which have just come out and it's come down in price, but they also find area prices. I've managed to find some really good flights across Europe. And my flatmates swear by this service. They tend to go to a lot of more Asian countries over the past couple of years, and they always find amazing cheap deals. And there's two levels of access. Premium access, which gives you a whole load of stuff as you can see on screen. What I recommend you do is buy the annual access because, well, chances are you're going to make your money back just from one flight. £35 really isn't that a lot of money, given the fact that if you're thinking of doing a long haul flight any time in the next year, chances are you're going to be saving at least 100, 150 quid. My next recommendation is Readly. Basically, what you do, you pay one subscription and it gives you access to a whole load of magazines. I've been using them for the past six months. For any of my audience who are doing lots of business flights, having a Readly subscription would be great for you. It's just something about short-term travel and short travel trips and business trips, where reading a magazine is just a perfect amount of length to, to read between flights. So for me, I've downloaded quite a few magazines on my membership. I've downloaded so far Wanderlust, Lonely Planet, Wired, Grand Designs, 21 Cryptos, Healthy Food Magazines, and basically lots and lots of random magazines. I won't give you the complete list of all the magazines. Just click on the link and have a quick look. There's magazines for all sorts of people, not just travel. And I also have a question for my audience. Do you subscribe to any travel services or any like virtual services? I'd love to hear your feedback and get some ideas from you guys as well. And last but not least, toiletry and bathroom bag related recommendations. I always bought separate razors or I just decided to get myself a beard and get and grow a moustache because I just couldn't be bothered to shave. Then I discovered electric shavers. The only problem is with electric shavers, sometimes they're quite big and bulky. And then I discovered this small, tiny electric shaver, which I still use to this day, the Philips electric shaver. I must admit, it doesn't give you the closest of shaves, but in terms of a daily shave, it does the job perfectly. And what I really like about it is that it uses AA batteries, so you don't have to worry about carrying a separate charger or, or any of that malarkey. And I'm so glad I don't use razors. There's none of that awkward unpacking or actually going through security and finding the old random razor from my last trip. So much better. And what's a really real big advantage is that you don't have to carry shaving gel so your toiletry bag is that lot much more smaller and I haven't forgotten my female audience I've also found an electric shaver 
for you girls as well, the Hillington's Women's Rechargeable Shaver. Now, of course, I haven't used it myself, and the wash bag I'm gonna recommend is the Offspray Ultralight Washing Roll Bag. The good thing about this particular roll bag is that it actually has a little hook. It's got lots of departments and packs into a small little area. And that is my Christmas gift suggestions. Let me know what's been your favorite, and don't forget, you should definitely check out part one of this. There, I've got five more themes, and I've suggested another like 10 ideas for Christmas gifts. If you're interested in winning one of the air presses, definitely type in your Twitter and your Instagram handle in the discussion. And it'd be really, really useful if you click and buy the gifts through the links just so that I can support St. Mango's this Christmas and help the homeless. And that is it. I hope this video has been really, really useful. Make sure you hit the subscribe button with a little bell notification just so that you see some of my future videos. And hopefully I'll release a couple of videos before Christmas. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. But just in case I don't, you have a Merry Christmas and I'll catch you in the next video. You kind of look like a ninja as well. And I must admit, it does kind of look like a weird sex toy. Santa Claus is coming home to me.